teacher, Nay! Good job, big girl! As you know, I've been really trying to improve my health. I'm going swimming, biking, working out at the gym. I've been doing deep breathing, meditation. I'm trying to get more sleep, drink more water, eat healthier. And I'm also using dietary supplements. And that's why we were so excited when Centrum reached out to sponsor our video today. This is a new line of targeted products. My favorite is movement and strength. Both my parents and grandparents have all had bone and joint issues, and I've seen the pain that they've been going through, and I wanna do everything I can right now to try to have healthy bones, healthy joints. Movement and Strength has a specific vitamins and minerals to support collagen formation for healthy tendons, ligaments, and bones. This one is immune and digestive support. Kendra's favorite is rest and rejuvenate and they have many more. We again wanna thank Centrum for sponsoring this video and we would really appreciate it if you would support our channel by clicking the link below and if you're interested in dietary supplements, get some for yourself. It didn't take long for the boys to see the water and the trampoline and have to come join in the fun. Today's the day we're getting all packed to leave on our trip. We're going to the States for a couple weeks. We're gonna be in Kansas City, seeing friends and going to doctor's appointments and doing summer camp, which we're very excited about. And then we're gonna do a little road trip and end up at a family reunion, which last year we didn't get to do my family's family reunion. And so we're really excited to see everybody. So this morning, Laura asked me to get out the rice bin. She was like, Mom, I'm gonna miss it while I'm gone. I have to play with it one last time. And they've been going strong. Laura played with it for a while, and now Janae is still playing. It's like hours of fun. That's been by you the whole time. It's a little orange one. <laughs> surprisingly well today. I think there's a few reasons for that. We got the laundry done ahead of time, which is a big deal, and the kids are really being super helpful. They're excited, so of course they want to help, but also they're old enough that I can just hand them a list of what to pack. They bring it to me. I kind of double check it to make sure we don't forget anything major like underwear, and then we're ready to go. Also, this is the first time in a long time that I've been packing for a trip without also moving at the same time. And it's a lot easier to do it this way. I'm really enjoying that we're already settled in our new house and that we're not leaving here anytime soon. Quattro, cinco, seis, nueve. You making lunch? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm gonna make for lunch? A BLT salad with avocado. Don't give me avocado. You love avocado. I, I don't anymore. What? I'm, I'm gonna make my own food, like with you. Oh, okay. And a smoothie. Okay. And a smoothie, okay. that you're putting sprinkles on it. I'm a good chef. You are a good chef. Here, Mama. Oh, I get to taste it? Yeah. 
Jeremy has a recent favorite dish he's been making. The BLT salad. Are you sure it's not a BLTA salad? Yeah, with the avocado. Yep. Holy smokes, Dad. This is so good. It's a good combination. Amazing. Amazing. You like it? I'm glad you guys eat salads, like salads. So while I'm busy prepping for our trip, our kids have been doing standardized testing. Check it out. We have an official testing space. What do you think of standardized testing? It's hard, but I kind of like it. This is definitely still the homeschooled version of standardized testing since he's in just his shorts laying on the couch next to a pile of laundry. I love watching you learn. Thanks. This is really cool. Show me the two chords you know. E major. E major. Um, and A major. Um, now that I have this, it's hard to like really want to do piano because I like this a lot. And then I can turn on distortion. Let's hear distorted. Little bit too loud. He's, he's a rocker punk already. It's also been interesting to see the kids' different reactions to test taking. Some are enjoying it more than others. I always loved test taking growing up. I felt like it was a game. I liked that it was like timed and you had to like figure it out. I just really always liked that. Jeremy didn't love test taking as much. And so I think it's just kind of a different personality thing and we definitely have both personalities in our family. So Elise, what do you think of standardized testing? Not to be rude, they're not my favorite at all. Yeah. yeah. It's a pretty common opinion. Yeah. Is there a good part? Getting done with it. There we go. Which section are you doing right now? Reading comprehension. So I'm leaving the room and I hear Elise go, oh, I can't figure out this problem. And I turned around and I was like, what? What did you say? Because you've already done 27 problems and every single one, you figured it out. You read and you looked for the clues and you figured out the problem. And then what did you say? Yet. It's the thing that you always say. Yep. It's like, I can't. I can't do it yet. Yep, you can't figure out this problem yet. Number 28's not gonna get you. You got this girl. The kids have all been doing really well. I was especially thrilled with Elisa's spelling scores because we worked so hard in that area this last year and so to see her not just at grade level but exceeding grade level is a really just a huge win for her and for me as we've been doing this together. The last load of laundry is drying. A new addition to travel prep. We hand washed and are air drying all of the face masks that the kids like, their favorite ones, because they're gonna have to be in them for hours. So they'll be nice and clean and smell good. Right, bud? Yep. Janae wrote her name today for the first time. Okay, show us how you do it. Janae! Good job, big girl! We're headed down to the beach to say goodbye, but I'm in a tizzy because I can't find my sunglasses. I love my sunglasses and I have to pack my sunglasses and I can't find my sunglasses. I'm wearing Jeremy's sunglasses. This is not okay. I need to find my sunglasses. You're stuck. So I come to the beach every single day. I'm really gonna miss it while we're gone. We're only gonna be gone for a few weeks, but I'll miss it, even for a short time. Ooh, Janae found a seashell. Find another one, a baby one? Look at that little shell. Mom, what'd you find? I found these pink. They're only pink. Oh, they're beautiful. They're shells. They are beautiful. I love it. Somebody built a sand castle. It's a good looking sand castle. It's a fun sandy ledge. You built a staircase? Nice, that'll make it easier to get up. I love that every time we're outside, the kids find something different to do. 
Like we've never done this before, but it's super fun. There's like an endless amount of creative opportunities outside. Woo! Are you okay, bud? <gasps> those are so beautiful. Wait, they look familiar. Are those the ones Lisey found? So I showed them to her and she's like, oh, they're mine now. Oh, Janae. You gotta find your own seashells. Okay, I know I told you how great packing was going. I'm overcomplicating it a little bit because as I'm pulling out the kids' clothes to pack, I just get sucked into going through their clothes. I'm like, try this on. Does this even fit anymore? This is worn out. We need to donate this. We need to get rid of this. Um, yeah. That's like putting two separate jobs together, which is not a good idea, but it's also really helpful because I usually like to do some shopping when we're in the States and I like to know what they need. Like Laura has barely any shorts. I was like, what, what have you even been wearing? Like you don't have very many clothes. And then I remembered, Laura is almost always in a swimsuit. So, but she needs, she needs clothes. Okay, the last step is backpacks, like packing up what they're gonna use on the plane. I have a few new little items for them, but then I'm also just like packing up notebooks, pens and pencils, some stickers. Janae actually wrote everybody's name on a little baggie and we're packing their snacks for the flight. All right, say goodbye to the beach. Thanks again to Centrum for sponsoring this video. Good night, G House out. gift is last.